Hi, welcome back uh, to my channel. In this uh, episode, we're going to talk about the K20 uh, main uh, battle uniform dress, known as uh, the 2020 new uniform of the People's Army of Vietnam. This uniform is entirely complete, 95%. Unfortunately, I do not have uh, the gas mask, but we'll get that in a moment in, later in the video. So please subscribe to this uh, channel, like this uh, video, and let me know in the comment sections down below what you think about the modernization of the Vietnamese armed forces. We're going first up the top from the summer hat. It is still in use to this day at the Vietnamese Armed Forces for training purposes and off-duty uh, soldiers. But this is an, uh, totally becoming a symbol of the Vietnamese Armed Forces. All the way back during uh, 1946, the Vietnamese decided to use this uh, tropical hat for in their climate environment in Vietnam itself. So eventually it became an icon and a symbol of the Vietnamese uh, people. So now we're going to the ranks uh, of the soldier itself. The rank set that I have is uh, Lieutenant. Two stars, a stripe, a rifle, and uh, a knife. It means for the infantry, Lieutenant first. The uh, uniform itself is a sort of a copy of the ARDL uh, pattern. ARDL is from the Vietnam uh, War itself, when the Americans decided to put uh, a camouflage uniform for their armed forces. But the only armed forces that mostly was used was with the 101st Airborne Division. But this uniform uh, was introduced back in 2020. Before that, they used in the K07, known as introducing 2007 camouflage uniform, also an ARDL. K70, 2017 uh, model pattern, totally different version. So they were not satisfied. So they decided to go back to the ARDL version and make it a little bit more darker. And that has, has more become a more icon for the Vietnamese armed forces. The shoes that I use is, are still the same uh, kind of models they were using back in the Vietnam War from 1965 all the way until 1975. It is lighter uh, used compared to the army boots that the Americans used in the beginning of the war. Eventually, they, even the Americans decided to go with uh, the jungle boots version. They were lighter, easy to use, and much more uh, uh, safer to use for an climate condition. Everything is in Vietnamese. Everything is original of the People's Army of Vietnam. The rank says here of the People's Army of Vietnam with uh, the, the knife and the rifle. This is also the symbol of the Vietnamese ground forces, uh, of the Vietnamese armed forces. In this side you can put your name tag, you just have to remove it and you can put on your Vietnamese name tag. So let's go about the battle dress uniform when they are doing training or going into combat. So this is the whole combat uh, dress song for the Vietnamese uh, armed forces. It looks uh, still as uh, part of the Soviet uh, era and that's also true. The Vietnamese armed forces were struggling uh, with uh, their independence all the way from 1946 all the way until 1989 when they were finally withdrawn from the, in, uh, the country called Cambodia. We will do that in a separate uh, video uh, on that uh, part, but first we're going to concentrate on the, on the modernization of the Vietnamese armed forces. From, no, from 1989 all the way until today, 2023, the Vietnamese uh, are uh, modernizing their army, air force and sea uh, power. But the uh, air force and uh, naval power comes priority because of the conflict in the South China Sea at the moment. So the ground forces will come at the first uh, place. That's why they modernize mostly of all the equipment style systems to the modernized uh, version. So that's why we're going to look at the system, what they currently used as a training uh, purpose tool. Uh, first off, they're still using the AKM version. This is an airsoft version, so it is a not real model. They're still using at the frontline servers, but they are modernizing towards a modern weapon with much more modernized features on it. They're still using a modernized sling version for the AK. Also the same belt system as other Soviet era systems. Here we can put four magazines uh, in uh, this pouch uh, systems. It is much more modernized. It is also built for the Vietnamese uh, climate because it's always uh, raining and hot weather conditions. So rubberized uh, systems are uh, much uh, welcome of the system itself. Also, we have the gas mask uh, version. There's an older uh, 2007 uh, gas mask uh, pouch. Unfortunately, I do not have the gas mask uh, at the moment because it was uh, out of stock when uh, the time that I got uh, one. But this is also still in use today. They do not have enough uh, camouflage uh, versions, the same camouflage that I wear at the moment. 
So as you can see, I have a water bottle on the right side, a shovel on the back that is connected with rope, and, and a small other pouch. This pouch is mostly uh, used uh, for uh, rice uh, balls. It's only used uh, for small numbers. I do not exactly know how common use is this at the moment. But the most uh, strange thing is, is uh, the is, uh, shovel itself. It is a 1960 uh, design. It is connected with rope. That's why I'm using white rope, because I could not find a green uh, version. But it's also easy identified how to uh, tie it up. And that makes it also really wieldy to use, actually. This belt is a modernized version of the old belt that the Americans were using during the Vietnam War. Apparently they were so popular with the Vietnamese forces, they decided to keep uh, those in the storage facilities and also for uh, fighting against the French, later the Americans, and also later against the Chinese and the Cambodians, uh, known as the Khmer Rouge. So this is also only a small part of the uniform. This uniform will be more explained in the more near future. We also have uh, air forces and also we have uh, naval forces. They have some identical uh, equipment, but they do share some one thing in common. And that's also the pattern itself. But we're also maybe going to look at special forces units, but that's for the near future. So I do hope uh, you have enjoyed uh, this video. And please let me know in the comment sections down below what you think about this modernized uh, uniform of the Vietnamese uh, armed forces. See you next time. I hope you have enjoyed this video that I have made for you uh, today. But I really uh, request uh, your help. Because the uniforms are not uh, coming cheap, because they, I have to buy uh, uniforms, I have to rent uh, uniforms, I have to hire a cameraman to uh, make these videos for me and to help uh, with this. So I really request uh, your help is only on a voluntary basis. I put a link in the descriptions down below on PayPal. So you can, you, if you want, you can donate $1 or $2 every week of every month. That's totally up to you but it will definitely help me to make more better videos for you in the near future. So I do hope you have enjoyed this video and please hit the bell notification button and please help me to support uh, to make every better videos for you in the near future.